Welcome back to Three Minutes or Less. Um, I just have a question to ask you guys. What do the Black Keys and Rockefeller Records have in common? Well, there's um, there's an there's an E. There's an L. Hold this, L boy. Oh! The Black Rock album, which came out in 2009 after the co-founder of Rockefeller Records, Damon Dash, heard the Black Keys at a show, he thought, dang man, yo Jay, we need these guys on a collaboration. They collaborate. Now, it was originally just supposed to be a collaboration between the Black Keys and an artist that they were working with at the time of Rockefeller that goes by the name of Jim Jones. <laughs> now, Jim Jones and the Black Keys, now that's rolling. That session was interrupted by Mo's Death, who was then invited to join in on the collaboration. And he actually made my favorite song in the album, which is On the Vista. And it's my favorite right behind the song Coochie uh, by Ludacris and Old Dirty Bastard. Yeah, you heard me right, ODB, RIP. They actually got the rights to some of his unreleased vocals that they used on the album. But they just brought in even more artists. They had some members of the Wu-Tang Clan. They had Raekwon the Chef on there. They had the RZA. And like I said, they also had vocals from ODB. Ludacris was also on that album. Q-Tip, uh, Billy Dans from M.O.P. Nicole Ray was on the album. Pharaoh Monch and N.O.E. They were all on this album. And all these artists would create one of the best hip-hop collaborative projects of all time. If you're not counting Nice Guys by Ryan Hegan, Kev Jumba featuring Chester C because Nice, nice guys, guys Finish. If you're looking to transition into listening to more early 2000s rap or 90s rap and you don't know where to start, this is a good collaborative album to listen to so you can kind of listen to all of them and decide, oh, maybe I'll start here, I'll start here. If you don't know where to start, you start at Black Rock. And thank you Damon Dash for making this project. And thank you guys for watching.